In this case, the title really says it all, transformation. What we hope people will take away from the whole experience is really a reflection on different kinds of transformation, what it all means, and maybe even transformation within their own lives and what that has meant to them personally. Amina is a very interesting story because um, she's been sort of anonymous for a long time here at the Ohio Historical Society. Uh, it turns out that she was actually a mummy that didn't belong in the sarcophagus that she was in. The Ohio Historical Society received a donation in 1926 of a coffin, an Egyptian mummy coffin with a mummy. It came as a set and since then we've believed they went together as a set. But historical research has now demonstrated that they never really went together. And in fact, the coffin he acquired for us wasn't even the coffin in which a body was supposed to be. The Egyptian coffins usually come in, in nests of three, kind of like Russian dolls. And only in the innermost coffin is the body. The next middle coffin is the one we have. Actually, the outer coffin for Nez Khan's Pekered is in the British Museum. So not only does Amunet not belong in that coffin, no body was ever supposed to be in that coffin. So what we're trying to do in this exhibit is show this transformation from a woman whose identity was formerly defined by the coffin in which she resided, a coffin that bears the name of Neskons Pekered. Um, but now we know that's not who it is. And so using medical technology, CT scans and so on, we've tried to create an identity for her. We've named her Amunet, which is simply an Egyptian name that means the hidden one. We really see her undergoing a transformation right now in terms of moving from sort of an anonymous part of another object to really becoming a person that, she is a person obviously, but really becoming a person with her own identity. And so the MRI that was done of the mummy allowed us to begin to see her face and begin to see her for the first time, and that's really exciting. never know who she is, but through these CT scans and through the scientific methods we're applying to this, we can learn a lot about her story. So, for example, how do you know um, which color to give someone's eyes? Even those might not be the exact, you know, ears or eyes that you're giving someone, it's an educated guess. These objects, while they seem extremely disparate and completely different from one another, when you really look at them, they illustrate and make one reflect on transformation in a bunch of different ways. So you think about transformation, it can be personal, it can be cultural, it can be um, a sort of a governmental, it can be group, or it can be an individual. Buttons, the passenger pigeon, was the last passenger pigeon of its kind that we know of. So Buttons really represents extinction on a broader scale if you think about that. And I, it doesn't take long in terms of thinking about extinction to really understand how that is a huge transformation of landscape, of our humanity. I mean, you think about our impact on the world and how we're transforming the world every day.